This is my friend Jeff. 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 Yeah! This is my friend Jeff. This is my friend Jeff. Go home, I found y'all to hold a hip hop job. Held up. I hope you put up like a caption of what that says. You, you know, I, I probably should put up put that up in captions. Because I want to know what cow toll Carol actually means. Jeff and I are going to an audition. That's why we're both wearing button-down shirts and sunglasses. Not that the sunglasses have anything to do with the audition. They don't. No. You're just saying that you and Julie. Now, Julie, you probably know Julie because Julie, Julie Whitner. Yes. I can say her full name, you right? You most certainly can. She played Go-Go Girl on Gorgeous Tiny Chicken Machine Show. She, she, uh, she and Ryan Smith are in the WWJD video, a very funny music video that my wife directed. Um, and she's been in countless mediocre films, because you can't, you can't count them. Uh, she I mean, played, well, she played, she technically played Technically, you could count them. You could count them? Yeah, I mean, you could. I mean, you could technically actually count, so it's not count less. I don't know. I think she, let me just say, she has been in limitless films. Limitless videos of mine, right? There's no limit. I, that's only, well, there's a limit if you choose to have a limit. Or if there's an upload limit on YouTube. I mean, I don't know about these things. Alright, so let's just compromise and say that she's been in an infinite amount of videos of mine. Infinite, infinite I, mean, well, I mean, I mean, it's like saying infinity plus one, you know, I, uh, yeah. it, it doesn't make yeah. sense. Uh, anyway, she's... Uh, Jeff's girlfriend. Yeah. Jeff's got a girlfriend. Shut neener, up! Neener, neener, Cut it out! They just hold hands in the hall. Yeah, they're very sweet together. Oh. Jeff, um, Jeff doesn't eat vegetables. No. That's one of the wonderful things about Jeff. I really, I have a texture thing, something, I don't like vegetables. We're going to an audition today. We're both auditioning for the same part in a Microsoft commercial, and, um, Bing. one of us will get it. Or... Someone completely different will get it. I want to go with one of us. And since you booked recently, can I can I book this time? Can yeah, I? yeah, yeah. You can have this one. You can totally have this one, especially since you're driving. Sweet. We're here in the carpool lane. This is uh this is what the 405 freeway looks like, folks. This is 405 freeway uh, approaching Sunset Boulevard the Getty Center. here in Los Angeles. Up there is the the beautiful Getty Center. I'll sort of get up there for you. It's a it's a smoggy day. I mean, this is really not this is not an attractive day. But, um... There is an infinite amount of smog out here. They, wait a minute, I don't know if that's... Maybe, maybe tomorrow there might be two new videos up. One on this channel and one on the main Mediocre Films channel. Maybe. I'd like to think that there will be. And that's all I'm going to say. I want to say there's an infinite amount of possibilities of what could happen. This is what an audition looks like. This is, uh... This is Chip Chinnery. You've probably seen him in about four million commercials. Used to be. Infinite. Yeah, an, an infinite, infinite number. That's my buddy Jeff with better lighting. Hey, and, uh, and this is what all of the people look like as they are waiting to go into an audition. I mean, this is crazy. There's more people here than I've seen in a long time. Oh, well, then when I went to the callback... That's Pete Gardner's mustache right there. Mm. Hello, Pete Gardner's mm. mustache. Oh, he was in the promos for The Hangover, but then he got cut out of the movie. He got cut out of uh, but he's The Hangover? In the promos. Oh, man. Um, are, are, are we in the shot at all? Now you are. Now we're in totally the shot. Yeah. All Let me right. get you better. That's good. Now you're both in it, and it's awkwardly weird. There's petting going on. Chip Chinnery, do you have any final words for our, uh, our friends on Mediocre Films 2? Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Wow. Oh. What if, well, what, what if they're already subscribed? And they're already subscribed. Then if they hit it, they're going to unsubscribe. Get another account and then subscribe to that one. And then uh, ask for more um, uh, retarded policemen. Coming soon, right? Uh-oh. No? I'm so sorry. Is that the wrong thing to say? Boy, you haven't been keeping up. Uh-oh. Oh, wait a second. got to get this. Chip's put on his Christmas sweater. He's initially for a Christmas commercial. There it is. Let's see it. Let's see the sweater there, Chip. This is the key. That is the Christmas sweater. This is how you buy a house in Hollywood, baby. Wear the parts. Wow, that Never is... Never throw out a college sweater. That is true. You have had this you had this for years Since upon years. Cosby was number one on NBC. Nice. Did I just keep your shoes on? Ladies and gentlemen, that's Bob Bendick and his son Jack. Hey. <laughs> 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 that's Becca, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Any threats?
Wait a minute. <laughs> looks, good. <laughs> looks good. Yeah. Looks good, Jack. Yeah. There you go. How about that? Oh my goodness. Look who it is. How are you, buddy? Good to see you. You brought a little person with you also. Oh my goodness. They're all here. Bob and I know each other from the Acme Comedy Theater where I met my wife, Kim. Did you meet Kim before I did? Uh, about the same time, wasn't uh, it? We yeah. were all in the same class at about the same time, I think. Boy, and if you hadn't screwed up, you could have totally gotten that. I was this close, dude. Yeah. You snuck right oh in there. God, but she's mine. Wow, now we get to leave. One hour later. One hour later, we're done. We did it. How'd that go? Yeah. I, I um, sometimes it's the simplest things that screw you up. And I think it was just me being alive screwed me up today. Ah, yeah, that'll, that'll do it. Well, the weird thing is, they, uh, you know, they, they say, uh, when you go in there, they say, well, you know, don't do anything. Yeah. Just simple, don't do anything. Yeah. We had one line. Would you like to tell our, our friends here what the line was? What are you looking for? That was awesome. And I still couldn't deliver it with that je ne sais quoi of a Jack Nicholson. Oh, uh, let me just so let me just gut. translate. A je ne sais quoi, that means I don't know what. Okay. I don't even right. know what I just said. <laughs> you didn't have that certain I don't know what. Yeah, I, I, I'll tell you I don't know what. I'll tell you exactly what I don't know what. I don't know how to act anymore. I'm giving oh, it up for Lent. Oh, for Lent this is an actor being hard on himself right here. This is an actor after a bad auditioning going, ah, I'm going to give it all up. It's a very common thing. Don't do that. Don't do I, that I'm to yourself. I'm giving it up until tomorrow when I have another audition. Yeah, you don't want to do that to yourself. It, it is done right now. I am done with it. I tell tomorrow. I tell you what, you know what you need? What? You need a nice little game of Marco Polo. Okay. Marco Polo. Marco, Polo! Marco, Polo! There, didn't that make you feel better? I guess. A little street Marco Polo. Well, what was weird about it is, I don't know why my pants had to come off in the end. Oh, Jesus. That's, uh, that's not, no, that's not right. You said it was house rules. <laughs>